So what's up everyone? Oddman105, aka the Odd One here, and this is GTA 5 Weekly, where we'll take a look at this week's special events, bonus money, and discounts being offered in GTA 5 Online. Now, whether you're OGs to my channel or you're new here, thank everyone for your great and kind support. I really do appreciate it, and consider subscribing while you're here. It helps out the channel a great deal, and it's absolutely free. Don't forget to click the bell icon for future notifications. Leave a few likes while you're here because they all help out the channel a ton. And hey, while you're here, check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. Okay, so let me just get this out of the way. This event week is the biggest slap in the face to every GTA 5 online player out there. So let's get right into this. Okay, so this week's bonus money, special events, and discounts are good through December 11th. As you guys can see, this week's podium car is the Dinka Sugoi. If you guys want to know how I win podium cars every week, there'll be a link in the description down below for my video, and I'll post the link for that video right about here. Your prize ride for this week is the Dinka Post Loop, which you can win by placing top two in an LS Car Meet Series race for four days in a row. Your test rides for this week are the Coil Cyclone, the Enos Stafford, and the Lampadati Viserys. So this week at Simeon's we have the Pinot La Cause, the Bravado Buffalo EBX, the Anis 300R, the Invertero Coquette D10, and last but not least, the Grotti Vision. So this week at Luxury Autos we have the Benefactor LM87 and the Overflowed Entity MT. So this week at the Gun Van, the Creepy Guy with the Reverse Mohawk is selling the Baseball Bat, the Tactical SMG, the Carbine Rifle, the Precision Rifle, the Rail Gun, the Holy Hellbringer, the Homing Launcher, the Heavy Rifle, the Military Rifle, and last but not least, the Micro SMG. HAL's premium test ride for this week is the Prince of Eve, the Day 8, which you can purchase with HAL's Special Works upgrades pre-installed. Okay, so let's discuss the elephant in the room and talk about this week's bonus money and special events. This week, you'll earn double cash and RP on the Project Overthrow Story missions. Rockstar couldn't make this five times cash in RP? What is it with Rockstar not wanting to pay players a fair reward for playing these stupid, boring, hyper padded, and unnecessarily long storied missions from what's arguably the worst DLC in GTA Online history, which take at least 20 minutes to complete? I can take that same 20 minutes time, run a union depository contract at my auto shop, and earn $270,000 on single cash. So no thanks, Rockstar. I think I'll skip Project Overthrow this week. You'll also get double cash and RP on the Sumo Adversary Modes. Login unlocks for this week include the Galaxy livery for the Mammoth Avenger, so all you have to do is play GTA 5 online anytime during this event week and you'll get this livery absolutely for free. Property discounts this week include a 40% discount on all hangers. This includes all upgrades and modifications. You'll get a 30% discount on the Eclipse Boulevard 50 car garage. Other discounts this week include 30% off of the operations terminal for the Avenger aircraft. Vehicle discounts this week include a 30% discount on the Principe, the best day 8. You'll get 20% off of the Bravado Buffalo EBX. You'll get a 30% discount on the Anis 300R. You'll get a 30% discount on the Benefactor LM87. You'll get 40% off of the Coquette D10. You'll get 30% off of the Grotti Vision. You'll get 40% off of the Coiled Cyclone. You'll get a 40% discount on the Enos Stafford. You'll get a 40% discount on the Lapidati Viserys. 
And last but not least, you'll get 30% off of the Mammoth Streamliner 216. And guys, that's pretty much it. Rockstar Games has yet again pulled down their pants and taken the biggest crap upon the, the GTA 5 online player base with this trash event week. At least Rockstar Games could have given us some kind of a bonus multiplier for the LSA operations missions, which at least on double cash can pay upwards of 100k, but of course not. They've given us bonus money on the worst missions from the worst DLC ever. I swear, Rockstar Games is the gift that keeps on giving, like a bad case of food poisoning. And here's my conspiracy theory as to why this week's events are so bad. Rockstar Games probably figures that for the next 11 days until the DLC releases, that if they give us a bad event week, then when the DLC releases, it'll seem like a masterpiece in comparison. So that's my conspiracy theory. I'm out of here. This is a wrap. I've been Oddman105, aka The Odd One, and if you guys found this video informative or entertaining, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, leave a few likes while you're here, and hey, don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105, and I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe, and remember, don't just start the fire, bring the smoke, and take care out there.